Hey there, good morning everybody. It's Monday, May 1st. I've got an exciting update to share with you. If you've been following along on the channel, then you know that a while back I inoculated some area in my garden with some mushroom spawn. And when I came out to the garden this morning to do my morning walkabout, I was absolutely ecstatic to see this. We've actually got a bunch of mushrooms popping. coming up there's a nice size one so this is none other than the strafaria raguso onulata known as king strafaria or wine cap strafaria or garden giant so I inoculated this and a couple other patches in the garden with some spawn I picked up over it fungi perfecti but these are easily identifiable by the red burgundy or maroon colored caps they also have these purplish purple gray gills underneath and the trademark wavy ring on the stock also known as the annulus so for all you gardeners out there if you haven't yet heard of this mushroom or you're not quite familiar why it would be a good idea to add it into your landscape let me give you a quick rundown First and foremost, this mushroom is a prolific grower. This is just the first little patch coming up. I'm expecting many more fruiting bodies to appear. And these mushrooms can get very large, like much bigger than my hand. So they produce quite a bit of food. Besides that, they're actually a great soil builder. They help to digest biomass in the soil, also wood chips and that sort of thing. And when it breaks it down, it turns it into really rich quality soil for your garden. At the same time, these mushrooms have the ability to actually pull toxins out of the soil. So if you've got any type of contaminants in your landscape, or maybe you don't even know that they've been there, these mushrooms will help to remedy that situation as well. And if that's not enough to convince you, let me just tell you, these mushrooms are extremely easy to grow. They're easy to identify, which is a concern for most people. And even though I gave you the gist of how to identify them, don't take my word for it. Get a book, get online, fully verse yourself on how to identify these mushrooms, any mushroom before you eat it. So if you want to see exactly how I went about inoculating this area with mushroom spawn, I made a video documenting that process, so you can just click this link above and that'll take you to that video. And if you do that, I'm sure you'll be just as excited as I was to learn just how rewarding and beneficial this hobby can be in your garden. 